behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. Workers at Navy Pier would usually be preparing for a busy fall and winter season. Instead, they're clearing the place out. The nonprofit that runs the pier says the decision to shut down was necessary to help them stay afloat. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas shows us how businesses are handling the situation, including one that is able to stay open. Navy Pier missing its most valuable resource, people. It's actually pretty surreal. It is quite odd. The souvenir shop is covering their goods to keep the dust off, and Tiny Tavern turned off their gas and electrical Tuesday after this interview. We're probably only doing about 15% of our normal business. It would be more of an impact to us negatively uh, financially to stay open during this, this time of year. Navy Pier made the call to close after partially opening for the summer and welcoming about 625,000 guests. It's a $20 million deficit in 2020 alone. Navy Pier CEO Marilyn Gardner says they'd usually welcome more than 4 million summer guests and the temporary closure is necessary for Navy Pier to survive. So in order to ensure the pier's future vitality and that of the 70 businesses that operate on the pier, it was critical that we close for the winter in order to help minimize the cost. Business owners can keep their stuff behind and they don't have to pay rent. Gardner says her team will be working behind the scenes on improvements and additions and the plan is to reopen in the spring. There is one business staying open and that's offshore, the rooftop bar and restaurant at the end of the pier. How is it that one business is able to stay open here? Offshore is part of the hotel which uh, is currently under construction. Gardner says the bar can stay due to a contractual agreement. This approved by the pier, yes. Construction will continue in the management company. Maverick Hotels and Restaurants says they still plan to open in November. Navy Pier says winter hotel guests will be limited to the hotel and parking garage and offshore guests can't roam from the pier either. Yeah, these are all six to eight feet apart. The offshore team says they're already brainstorming ways to keep people safe and warm in the winter, including the possibility of small enclosures like other restaurants have used in past winters. We're looking into options very similar with our own little offshore spin on it. Reporting from a desolate Navy Pier, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. One business that will not reopen at Navy Pier, Bubba Gum Shrimp. We've learned it's closing for good. A Navy Pier spokesperson tells us the closure is not related to the pandemic and a new business will open in that high profile spot at the end of the pier.